Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master, and today we're gonna be taking a closer look at the new Legend of Zelda title for the Nintendo Wii U that was revealed in Nintendo's E3 digital event. And well, before we get started, I'd like to quickly recap the things Oanuma stated before they played the trailer. First and foremost, the open world. The world will be so open and vast that you can enter any area from any direction. The mountains you see in the back? Well, they're accessible, as long as you travel to them. So this will be unlike any other Zelda game, where you have to take linear paths to get to certain areas. This will act a lot like the original Legend of Zelda for the NES, but obviously in 3D. Now personally, this reminds me a lot of Skyrim, but it will be a Zelda world, so that's gonna be 10 times better. Anyways, let's go ahead and now take a closer look at the trailer itself. We start off in a very peaceful setting, looking a lot more peaceful than any other Hyrule field from the previous games. Though that doesn't last for long. A new monster that we've never seen before tears through Hyrule field, chasing our hero. We see our hero gallop through this forest that looks a lot like Faron Woods from Twilight Princess. And here we get a better shot of our hero and its horse. Now if you played any Zelda game you'd assume that that's Epona and Link. But you know you can't be too certain, and honestly to me, that doesn't look a lot like Epona. But I mean who knows, this is completely different graphics than any other Zelda game, so it just might be how Epona looks within this game. This new monster breaks the bridge, preventing Link from going any further. So what does our hero do? Well, he reveals himself, whipping off his cloak. And well the first thing I've noticed is that Link has a ponytail. Definitely making him look more feminine than he already looks. But of course, he takes out a bow that resembles the hero's bow and the bomb arrows that were in Twilight Princess and attacks the monster. Now here is the part that gets a little interesting. Link jumps up in the air and we get a better look at this monster. The monster's design reminds me a lot of the ancient robots within the Lanero province in Skyward Sword. And so does the next arrow Link plans on shooting. It looks like the technology within this world is really similar to the one in Skyward Sword. And well, we also get a better look at Link himself. Now, should I say himself or herself? Now, I personally see this being Link, but a lot of people told me that this might be a girl. Also, Oanuma stated that this isn't explicitly Link. Like, the one we saw in the trailer might be somebody else, so this might be a girl protagonist. Now, I for one find that hard to believe because this is a Legend of Zelda game, and we usually play as Link. But I mean, who knows? This Link may look really feminine, but Link always looked feminine. I mean, I guess the long hair does add to it, but I wouldn't be surprised if Link had a ponytail in the upcoming Zelda game. I mean, my bet is as good as yours, we don't know if this is Link or not. Nor have they stated that it's Link. So that makes me wonder, if this isn't Link, who could it be? I mean, what this could be is a reincarnation of the hero, but this time a female? I mean, they never said that the reincarnation of Link has to be a boy. So what if this next Zelda game, you can pick which gender of Link you want to be, maybe a boy or a girl? Or maybe this is one of the previous Link's daughters. Or maybe even Zelda disguised as Link. I mean, using the arrow over a sword kind of leans towards Zelda. But you know, only time will tell. I personally think it's Link because I'm just used to having Link in pretty much every Zelda game. Either way, I'm excited for the game and I'm willing to play as whatever. The game looks awesome and I can't wait until they release more information about the game. Though, make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we can have a discussion about it. But that is pretty much the whole sneak peek trailer they showed off. It was really short, but uh, you know, it satisfied me because I just wanted something. I want them to confirm a new Legend of Zelda title for the Wii U, and well, they did. But before I wrap this up, I would like to imagine where this would fit within the storyline. I mean, obviously this game is going to be canon, so I would like to know where it would fit. Now, I personally am assuming that it has something to do with Skyward Sword, whether before or after. I mean, with the technology of that monster and Link's arrow resembling a lot of what we saw in the Lanero province, 
Maybe it's before the Lanero province became a deserted desert and, uh, you know, Hyrule was peaceful and all, and then that all happened. Uh, so it might be before Scattered Sword or it might be after Scattered Sword. I don't know. I just have a feeling it will be around that time. Maybe because the graphics look a lot like Skyward Swords as well. Um, it looks like what Nintendo wanted Skyward Sword to look like. Like, it's really cell shaded but not too cell shaded to look like uh, Wind Waker's. Um, because it's not as cartoony, of course, but it has this really similar look to Skyward Sword, so I guess they're gonna keep going with that look from here on out. I don't know, um, because, you know, in Hyrule Warriors, they went with something completely different, but that's also by uh, a different team besides just Nintendo, so who really knows? Um, I just think it has something to do with Skyward Sword. I hope it does, and uh, I'm excited for whatever it's gonna be. It could be Link, it could not be Link. So whatever. I mean, we only have like less than a minute footage of this new game, so we couldn't really make much of it. At least I couldn't, so yeah. But it was really interesting to take a closer look at it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, didn't mind my ranting here at the end. Um, but if you did, make sure to leave a like and uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming you know, close-up looks at the new trailers Nintendo will release and other stuff like that because I am very, very interested in anything Nintendo has to offer, especially with the Zelda game. So I will be making, you know, discussions and analysis and stuff like that in uh, the future with whatever else Zelda they announce or release. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master, and well, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.